this is Allison Miller. Welcome to my behind the scenes and my all access photo shoot. Well, I think I always wanted to play the drums, even before I started at the age of 10. From as early as I can remember, my mother said I was always beating on the kitchen table and then the high chair, and she always said I wanted to play. And anytime the radio was on, I'd be beating. And she even has a story that she says that she could hear me uh, kicking to the beat in her stomach, which I don't think is true. So I, I always wanted to play, and she taught me piano first, and then when I was 10, she finally let me, just let me start playing the drums. <laughs> I kind of naturally gravitated musically towards Michael Jackson. You know, I had the Michael Jackson poster on the wall and the glove, and I was a huge Prince fan, Earth, Wind & Fire. Um, so I gravitated towards that type of music. I'm trying to think of the first jazz album I heard that just totally blew my mind. I think it was uh, Miles Smiles by Miles Davis, and I heard Tony Williams, and that kind of introduced me to jazz. And then my teacher, Walter Saab, who was very dear to me and was my first teacher and my only teacher up until I went to university. He taught in that four-way independent style, which is very jazz-oriented, and he came from the swing era, and I just fell in love with it. I love the challenge of jazz drumming. I feel like because of my jazz background, I'm able to then approach all these other styles of music in a musical way, and I just try to play what's appropriate for the music. And whether that be jazz or contemporary or country, you know, whatever it may be. I think with the contemporary music, I focus more on the lyrics and the song and working around the singer and, and just being as musical as possible, you know, and not overplaying and just really being a supportive person in the band. I guess when I think about jazz drumming, I think of it as more of an individualistic genre of music where you can, you can be a little busier, you still have to support, but there's a little more, of, little more room to improvise and, and things like that. But I really try to kind of bring that improvisation into any type of music that I'm playing, at least I hope to. Natalie Merchant, Ani DeFranco, Brandy Carlisle, and I worked in Italy with this um, Italian pop star named Pino Daniele for a couple years. Everybody I've worked for has always been incredibly nice and incredibly generous and wonderful, wonderful musicians and just wonderful people. And I think that makes a big difference when you're spending a year on the road with with group of people. You kind of become a family and you're living on a bus together and traveling and playing music every night and I think it's, I've been really lucky and fortunate to work for such wonderful people. Well, I find that Yamaha, out of all the companies that are making drums today, Yamaha drums are the most consistent. I find whether it's Birch or Maple, the tone is always really even and round and warm and beautiful. So I'm very particular about tone and the actual pitch that the drum produces. And I feel like every drum has a natural pitch where it resonates the most. And I always feel like Yamaha is very consistent with that. And the products are made very well and the finishes are beautiful. You know, and I also have done a lot of clinics in the past and master classes and Yamaha has always been so generous with clinician support. And I really appreciate that because I feel like passing on to the younger generation is really the most important thing to do. Learn your rudiments. <laughs> Even if you just want to play rock and roll, you know, learn your rudiments, learn the basics, and young kids should never be intimidated or afraid to really go after a career in music. I think a lot of young kids are told that that's just something you do on the side and it's something that isn't really attainable to make a living by, but it totally is. You know, I think if you really want to do something, you should just go for it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in your hometown very soon.